With our new 5.2 release, we have improved our report videos even more with better quality compression and video preview thumbnails that now use a still shot from the video itself. In addition, we've ditched the requirement for QuickTime for an improved system that we think you'll enjoy without the extra installation hassles. Our 5.2 release means more video for you. We've increased our standard upload report size maximum from 15 megabytes per report to 30 megabytes per report. What else? Well, we've improved the rapid fire edit picture mode. So now when you transfer your report from the companion into your desktop, your storage pictures can be easily removed without interrupting the process. Simply click remove and your storage picture will be removed from the report, but still kept in your photo locker. HomeGage is proud to be the only inspection software company to fully integrate with FLIR. Now when you use a picture taken using a FLIR infrared camera, you can mark temperature ranges and a lot more on the picture right in the HomeGage software. No external editor needed. Now that is interaction at its finest. In this new release, we also have new template designs that are proven to be faster than the template you may be using now. If you're new to HomeGage, try the template Room to Systems Summary, where you inspect room by room and produce a summary by system. Or for those of you that like system style reporting but want a faster report build time, try out the new template System to Systems Summary. If you already have a huge comment library inside of your existing template, you can easily modify your template to the new design yourself. There is a video at support.homegage.com on template design that you can watch. Next, we included in this release is a new print format. How about a new print format that puts all the issues at the top naturally with all the remaining good items and styles and materials last? The narrative focused print design is not for the faint of heart as it removes section overviews, footers, it doesn't display summary or section icons, it works even better without a summary if that's allowed in your state. This print format works best with templates that use column headers but will also work without them as well. It's fairly experimental and it's intended for inspectors who want to have all the content at the top of the report first. Moving on in this release, we've also included the support for high DPI screens like the MS Surface and also the uh, uh, Lenovo Yoga. Now you can enjoy your high definition screens while using HomeGage. What else? How about the ability to add, remove, or edit section containers? In your, in your user interface, you're now able to edit these section containers. This feature will enable more customization within your user interface and it will also come in handy for those of you that are migrating your template from other software companies to HomeGage, giving you the ability to clean up your remnants from the other software's design or limitations. We've also included the ability to reorder PDF form tabs. So that'll come in handy when you're creating multiple forms at the same time and you're wanting to change the order, for instance, the picture page. In 5.2, we've came out with a great innovation. How about a live film strip in real time? Now, for those of you that have cameras uh, on your uh, laptop or uh, Windows 10 uh, computer, you're able to take a picture with that uh, camera and in real time have it appear right in your film strip in HomeGage. You're also able, if you have an iFi card, to do this as well. A really great feature promises to uh, help a lot of people that are wanting to use laptops in the field that have a rear facing camera or iFi cards on your digital camera. Now you can do that in HomeGage. These are just a few of the uh, changes that we made. We also did a lot of uh, fixes and improvement requests from users just like you. So get your latest upgrade now and stay tuned for more innovation and more great features in HomeGage. Thank you.